Now in order to recode the lock cylinder, to use the previous key in the brand new lock cylinder, we're going to replace the components inside the lock cylinder. You can see we've already broken down the previously used lock cylinder, removed all the coating slugs out of it, and we're going to break down the new lock cylinder. It comes with a key coated to it, ready to work already. In order to break down the lock cylinder, we have to look in the end, and now there's a little check ball in here, which we have to use our pick to release, press it, and now we're going to rotate the lock cylinder a couple degrees further, and it allows us to separate the unit here. Now you'll notice all the slugs located in here. They're held in place yet by the key. So we're going to hold them in place and remove the key. Now these are spring loaded and they want to pop out, so be very careful. We want to keep these in order as well. So as we remove them, we're going to lay them in the same order in which they came out. Now we'll work on the bottom side. All right, as you can see, a couple of the springs may fall out. No big deal, we can simply reinsert them. Now, we're gonna to go to our blanks that we removed from the previous lock cylinder, and we'll insert them in the same order. You can see I've got them lane, lined up here, beginning to end, beginning to end as well. And we'll simply reinsert them in the order in which we removed them. Once that is complete, we'll take our previous key, insert it in here, and now it's going to hold all of our slugs in place. Fortunately, we must have done something right because it went in. Now we're going to insert it back into the housing, line it up, make sure we can turn it, remove it, insert it again. We're ready to insert this lock cylinder back into the vehicle. Job is completed.